Yo, in this video, I'm going to do a full review of the new Autodid plugin that just came out for Premiere Pro. It just dropped for Premiere Pro and I haven't even tried out the plugin yet. So this video will be more of a review of me trying it out, seeing how everything works and giving you my honest opinion. The people over at 11% were kind enough to send it out to me, but I'm not paid. So everything I'm saying in this video is my own opinions. Let's hop right into Premiere Pro and I'll try it out. So I'm in Premiere Pro right now. I have moved my camera to this side this time so you can see the full plugin. And this is what it looks like right off the jump. We have this part with all of our clips, I guess. And then we do have the B-roll trimmer, which I've seen on their Instagram. This one looks insane. It basically picks what B-rolls are usable and what B-roll is not. So if you have a lot of shaky footage, it will basically just cut out all of that shaky footage and leave just the good footage. And then we do have the VFX tab as well. So we have 3D objects and we have camera shakes. It's clean. We also have CRT and chrome so these chrome 3d overlays we have crt like i said film borders film burns we just hella stuff in here low shutter that's also sick mixed media paint y2k and yeah that's it and then we also have ai oh yeah i've seen this one as well so you just select what type of effects you want in your video and the intensity and then it applies automatically that's crazy and finally we have mogerts Oh shoot, you have the Apple Glass right here. Chrome logo, just, oh, this one's sick. I'm going ahead and try that out later. But yeah, just a lot of sauce in here. A bunch of titles, and that's genuinely fire. I'm so impressed with all of these tabs. But to start this off, I'm going to import a song. And I do have some clips from a music video shot by my boy VFX Sin. He sent it over to me, so huge shout out to him. I'll leave his Instagram link in the description. So I'll import this song right here. And then I'll import my performance shots. So I've selected all of my performance shots and I'll just import them. And then lastly, I'll select all of the B-roll. And then I guess I'll just click continue. All right. And then we have the next step right here. If you're editing music video, please synchronize all the performance takes. So I'll select all layers, control A, then right click and synchronize. Select audio and then option mix down and select OK. All right, so I just did that and then I'll click OK, detecting a BPM. So um, I have the edit type, let's just go for stairs. I guess that means that they will cut it up like in a stair. And then we have edit speed, I'll go for fast, start time zero, I guess. Mm, yeah, I'll go for that and then I'll click proceed to B-roll. Oh yeah, here we have the B-roll trimmer. So I'll select it's a music video and the sensitivity i'll keep it at medium all right it's detecting the camera shakes now okay so right now it looks like it's cutting up all of the b-roll right here and you can see it in real time shit that's crazy so it's cutting out all of the shaky b-roll and it's leaving me with basically all of the usable b-roll so it's almost done and i'm gonna see what it looks like okay so this is all of my b-roll this is my b-roll sequence i'm gonna mute all of the other layers and it basically just cut up all of my b-roll so everything that's really shaky was cut out so that's basically what it did. That's pretty stable. That's not too shaky. This one right here. We got some more right here. This video didn't really have the craziest B-roll. They're just walking around. That's good. And right here, the auto sequence. So here in the auto sequence, we have everything that is basically cut up for us so far. I think that the blank parts right here are for the B-roll. So I can just import my B-roll right there. By just going into the B-roll sequence, copy one of these clips, and then just paste it on here. Oh, this is a little bit long now, so I just got to cut it right there and also remove the audio. And then we have some B-roll in here. I'm going to make the preview a little bit bigger so you can see it. So as you can see, we have a pretty solid cut that you could go with. It's actually pretty usable already. So you could actually go with something like this. But then we also have the effects tab right here where you can automatically import your effects. You can either do it manually right here in the tab, like going through them like this, add like a CRT. Let's say that I want this one right here. Insert that playhead. So I just click on that one. And then we have the CRT overlay applied straight onto the clip, which is actually extremely useful and also a crazy time saver. But then we also have the AI, which I'll be trying out right now. And I'll apply like CRT, film burns, light streaks, low shutter, mixed media. I'll apply a lot of different stuff. 
Mm, and some camera shakes as well. I don't think that the 3D objects will fit my video, so I'll actually skip that one. And let's go for 70% intensity and click add VFX. Okay, so I guess it's done because yeah, I can see an effect right here and it just stopped loading. So I'll play it through from the beginning and see what it looks like. Okay, so there we have some effects and there we have an overlay. There we have some shakes. And here we have one of those blink overlays. Here we have a low shutter. Here we have an overlay. Some more low shutter shakes. I'm breaking back in the backseat, B. Cash rate, call me sexy. Wow. For all the niggas who hate me, huh? I'm finna show y'all something. And to all the niggas who got a problem with me, y'all niggas know what's up. Bitch, can't nobody shut me up. That shit suck me up. Eat the tweet on drugs. White girl, fuck me up. Fuck. White girl, fuck me up. Yeah. She my little freak, she slay. Yeah. Free nigga, tell me her butt. Yeah. I like a, yeah. I like a square bitch, I tell you my name. He don't got bread with that nigga. Okay, so the fact that this was made in like under five minutes, that is crazy. But some of the overlays just didn't look good on my clips. Like, like I would, like if I would redo this, I'll probably skip the light streaks and maybe the Y2K because these type of overlays doesn't really fit on every single video. So I'll probably skip the Y2K Frutiger and the light streaks, but the rest actually looks pretty solid. Like the shakes are definitely going to be a game changer. Just the fact that you can apply them so quickly without basically any effort. And the same with these type of low shutter effects. These are also crazy. And if there are any effects that you're unhappy with, then you just go up to the top right here. Because all of the effects, I think, are placed at the top. It looks like that. So like right here it says CRT glitch. So if I'm unhappy with that one, I just go up and delete it. And this one as well. I'll just delete that one. So whatever you get from this doesn't really have to be the final version. But now that I have some effects applied onto this video, what I'm going to do is I'll go to the start and I'll open up this title tab where you can create your title cards. Like right here, we have this Apple preset and we have a Chrome logo. We have this really cool one. And this one is also sick. Here we have some animated ones as well. Some ogres. Let's, so let's go for this one. Oh yeah, that one imported like directly. So I'll open that one up and hmm, there's a black text on a black background so I can't really see. Oh here, up here you can see. Alright, I don't think that I have the font for this one. So it just goes back to like a basic one. So I'll delete this one and go for another one. But yeah, you get the point. You just click on these titles and then they apply. It's pretty much that easy. I think it would have been a little bit better if they included the fonts in like a file or something. The link where you could download them. Because now I don't really know the name of this font. But overall it's a pretty solid plugin. It actually works incredibly well. And I barely run into any issues except for this final one here at the end. And maybe that's on me because it's the first time that I'm using this. So it was pretty easy to understand and a really useful one. I'll leave it linked in the description for you guys if you want to go and check it out for yourself. With a discount code so you can get 10% off. But let me know what you think about this plugin in the comments let me know if you're grabbing it i personally think it's sick but that's just my own opinion let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one